Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video I'm going to explain to you how we actually know that our sun has about 5 to 6 billion years of life left in it. I'm going to show you how we calculated all of this and you're going to see the math behind it. Welcome to What The Math. So first of all, we have to start with a few assumptions. And the first assumption here is that our sun is actually not perfect. Now, what exactly would I mean by this? Well, first of all, we understand that the sun creates energy by burning hydrogen, or basically creating a nuclear reaction between hydrogen that creates helium. And this produces all of this energy that then can be received on Earth. But the thing is, because of the size of our sun, it's not really perfect. It actually only uses the inner part of itself to create this energy. All of this outer stuff is unused. And roughly around 10% of the mass is going to be used by the sun in its lifetime to produce all of this energy. The rest of this will actually be expelled and create a beautiful nebula known as a planetary nebula in about six to seven billion years. Now, assuming this imperfection, we can now actually calculate how much life the sun has left in it. But first of all, let's start simple. Let's find out how much energy our sun is creating every single second. This is actually a really easy way of doing this and you can even try this yourself with a simple solar panel by basically going to Earth and trying to figure out how much energy we are receiving from the sun in a small area. It turns out that if you were to calculate this, you would discover that in approximately one square meter, we are receiving about 1360 watt of energy. And this implies that if we were to actually then create a very, very large sphere around our sun in the location where Earth is, in other words, if we were to create a very large spherical object around our sun in the location of Earth, we would be able to capture approximately, there's actually a value that's right here, 3.85 times 10 to the power of 26 watt, um, which is about one luminosity of the sun. And this is essentially the total output of energy of our sun per second. And that also means that in a single year, if we convert this to joules, which is a typical unit of energy used uh, in science, we're getting this number, 1.21 times 10 to the power of 34 joules of energy per year. And just to give you a simple comparison, the entire energy of the sun produced in a single second is actually a lot more than humanity has produced over its lifetime. That's how huge that amount of energy is. But anyway, what we need to do now is try to calculate how much energy in total our sun actually has. So as I mentioned, only about 10% of the sun will actually be used to create energy. And hydrogen is combined into helium to create this energy. Let's take a look at the periodic table of elements for a second, because I want to show you something. And this is from ptable.com, a really cool website that has an interactive um, periodic table. Here's hydrogen. Its mass is about 1.008. And helium has a mass of about 4.0026. Inside the sun, four um, atoms of hydrogen create one single atom of helium. But there's something that's weird here. If I multiply this number by four, I'm not going to get this number. As a matter of fact, um, multiplying this by four will give me about 1.032. But the number here is 4.0026. There's actually some mass missing. As a matter of fact, 0.7% of mass is missing. And that's the mass that is used by the sun to produce the energy. So, we can now go and do a little bit of mathematics here. We're going to use the famous equation E equals mc squared. And we're going to try to calculate how much total energy the sun actually has in it. Now, mass here is the mass of the sun. C is the speed of light. We need to multiply this by about 
0.1, which is the 10% that I mentioned previously, that's the total amount of mass available to the sun. But we also need to multiply this by that 0.7%, because only that percent of the mass is used to produce the energy. So let's do the math here. So we're going to tell Google this. Mass of the sun times speed of light times speed of light times 0.1 and times 0.7%. And this should give us the total energy of the sun in joules. So it has about 1.25 times 10 to the power of um, 44. And that's total, essentially total amount of energy the sun has over its whole lifetime. And if we take this and we divide this by the number we got previously, what we'll get is this number right here, which is approximately, very roughly, 10.3 billion years. Now, that means that the entire lifetime of the sun is approximately 10.3 billion years. And this number is very rough, but um, if the total life of the sun is 10.3 billion years and its current age is 4.66, What's left here is roughly 5.6 billion years. And that's essentially how the scientists know that our sun has around 5.6 billion years in it. Now that's a very rough estimate. We don't really have a better technique just yet to um, find out if it's closer to five or if it's closer to six or even seven billion years. But we think that in about 5.6 billion years, the sun will no longer have any more hydrogen left and will enter its new stage where it's going to start burning helium. Now, it still has some other um, stages that will basically give it a total lifetime of maybe around 12 to 13 billion years. But by then, it's actually going to turn into a very large star that is going to swallow planet Earth. But for the hydrogen stage, for the main sequence stage, it has about 5.6 billion years left in it. And the math behind it is relatively simple. And anyway, hopefully now you know how the scientists figured out the total age of the sun. And if you'd like to find out how we know the age of the sun currently, you can check out the previous video that I made on the channel. And if you'd like to learn more about space and want to know more about the universe itself, subscribe to the channel if you still haven't and click the bell button to be notified about future videos. Maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon because it does help me a lot. I'll see you guys tomorrow, come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out, and as always, bye bye.